Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. Um, I just used a couple products that I tell you, um, I co-wash my hair on a regular basis. I will be uploading a like hair update video so that way you know all the products like curly hair product video. So that way you know all the products that I use on a regular. Um, it's pretty simple. Most of it is just letting your hair air dry once you apply the product. And so yeah, let's get started. Bye guys. Hey YouTube, so I just got out the shower. Literally I just like put on some underwear and threw on this t-shirt so I could show you guys. Um, so the first thing I did in the shower was I um, did I co-washed my hair with this cleansing conditioner by Herbal Essence. It's in their Naked um, line. I really really like this. It was in my monthly favorites. I will be having a review about it soon, so I'm not gonna say much about it, but I really like it. I use this. This is a new one because I'm almost out of my old one. And then because my hair didn't feel that dry today, I felt like I didn't really need to put like my Aussie Three Minute Miracle on it or anything like that. So I just used this Herbal Essence Naked conditioner, and it has zero parabens. And it, this is the moisture conditioner. And I really like this one. It smells really good. It smells really similar to the other one. So I've just been giving this one a try. The other ones that I like to use are like the Herbal Essence, like Hello Hydration, the like coconut one. And I also like the Trust Me Naturals, but I just don't have those on hand. So I have this one. So I put that in my hair and I just let it sit. And then I rinse it out in cold water. So the first thing I do once I get out of the shower is I take an old t-shirt. This is just a t-shirt I got in school. And I towel dry my, I mean like I t-shirt dry my hair. I just go through and squeeze the excess water out because, I don't know, I just don't like to have a ton of water in my hair because I feel like it just slows down the um, drying process. So I just go through and squeeze out the extra water that I feel is in my hair. And I did like kind of wring it out in the shower so most of the water is gone. And then I take my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Style Milk. And I don't know what happened to the front of this container if you can see it. But yeah. I take this and I apply a pretty generous amount. About that much to my hair. And I just scrunch it through my hair. Making sure to get pretty much every part of my hair. And then the next thing is I take from the same line, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, this one I'm pretty much almost out of, but I already have a backup of it. Looks like that. I take about that much and I just work this through my hair too. I find that I need both because, I don't know, the Curl Enhance, like the milk helps my curls to um, pop a little bit more while the smoothie like combats frizz more than the milk does and I have like really frizzy hair because it's text laxed and so it just gets really frizzy and I make sure I work that I'm gonna take a little bit more and just get the like center back portion of my head make sure I get my ends a little bit just because those can get kind of frizzy and Just wiping off any excess product that I have in my hands. Now that I have both those products in, I'm going to seal it in with organic virgin coconut oil. This is cold pressed and unrefined. And I got this one at Trader Joe's and I think I got it for like $4.99 or $5.99, somewhere in there. So I take a pretty generous amount of that and I just rub it in my hands, get it up to like an oil. I will be posting a video all about like coconut oil in a week or two. Just about like all the different uses I use it for. How I use it, what I use it, like when I use it, what I use it for, all that good jazz. And I just scrunch that through my hair, making sure I get everything evenly coated. And making sure that I get my ends. And coconut oil just adds so much shine to your hair. It just adds so much shine, but it's one of those oils you're not going to see the results like right away. So like the first time you use it, you may not see all the results. So like don't lose hope, so to speak, if you don't see like instant results with coconut oil. Okay, so lately I haven't been using a gel to style my hair. Lately I've been using a mousse. And this the mousse I've been using is the um, Pantene Do the Style, Not the Damage um, Curl Defining Mousse. And it has like a maximum hold. It looks like this. I will be having a review up on this this month, but I really like it. So you just have to shake it up really good. When I, like, I was hesitant to use mousse because like, 
I was scared that like it would dry my hair out but I haven't noticed it drying my hair out so until I notice it drying my hair out I will be using this because I like mousse a little bit better because it does allow my curls to like volumize a little bit more because it doesn't weigh it down the same as gel so you just turn it upside down and um, my hands are slippery you just turn it upside down and pump some into your hand and the first amount I use is about that much it's a pretty big amount but it comes out that one really comes out really fluffy and I just scrunch this through my whole head and I use a scrunching motion so that way like the pieces of my hair that are like more relaxed and or um, are more um, like straight from like either heat damage or being more relaxed can get a little bit of like wave at least to them. I'm going to use a little bit more, actually a lot more, and I like to just flip my hair over and ensure that I get like this back area. So this is all I do, I let my hair air dry from this point on. Um, you can also diffuse it if you want a little bit more volume and you don't want to like have all the time of air drying. So I will check back in with you guys later once my hair is fully dried, it probably will be once I get back from where I'm going. So I will see you guys later. Hey YouTube, so this is the finished look, um, it's been, I don't know exactly how much time it's been, I didn't really pay attention, but my hair is pretty much dry and it probably won't get any more voluminous than this. But well, this is just my finished wash and go and what I wear on a norm. Um, yeah, what I have on my face, I have L'Oreal True, uh, not True Match, the Magic Nude um, foundation. And as my under eye concealer, I use MAC Pro Longwear. As my powder, I use the Bare Minerals Original. Um, on my eyebrows, I have the Dip Brow Pomade with an eyeshadow. It's just a random NYX eyeshadow. On my lips and on my cheeks, I have um, uh, Shea Moisture Lip and Balm. Lip, lip and cheek balm um, it's in the pink shade I have a review I'll link it down below um, I think that's it as my mascara I have the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, I think that's it and I have the Lorac spotlight highlighter on and so yeah this is my finished look this is what I wear on a normal everyday basis um, the next day I just normally spritz it with water add a little bit more mousse like moisturizer and mousse um, just to like pop certain areas that get like smushed from my sleep but other than that, this is pretty much all that I do, and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.